Good morning, you guys. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and I'm kind of just waking up for the day. Thought for today's video, we would do a plant chores weekend kind of vlog just to relax and do some necessary chores that I've been meaning to do and get done, or at least kind of figure out how I want to go about bringing a lot of my outdoor plants inside, figuring out where they're gonna go, get some of those plants repotted. I have to do watering this weekend, all sorts of stuff. It is Saturday, so it's the 24th of September and we are into the fall season now. It's starting to feel a little bit cooler out outside and I've kind of noticed the humidity dropping a bit and about that time to start getting things prepped for the next season with winter. I'm kind of looking forward to this season just to have a little bit of a rest, honestly. I feel like my plants have grown, some of them have like tripled in size this season and I'm kind of ready for them to slow down a bit. I did write down a list of chores I would like to get done this weekend and I'm not really much of a planner. I'm kind of just like, I kind of go with the flow and what I'm in the mood to do is what I'll do at that time. And I may have this huge list and I may end up doing other things that aren't on the list. And I may not even get to like a fourth of those things that are on the list. It's hard to really say sometimes with me. It is about noon or so, it's about lunchtime. I feel myself getting hungry. That oatmeal was not enough. So I'll probably eat a snack here soon. I actually just got ready. I was on my phone for a bit this morning and I decided to get myself a little bit more put together because I wanna take some photos from my Instagram real quick. I'm kind of out of content as far as like reels and photos go. I think I will film my watering tomorrow, maybe for a separate video, because usually I water all of my plants over the weekend, which is Saturday, Sunday. Sometimes I split it up into two days so it's not like daunting all on one day. I'm kind of excited to just enjoy the weekend. I am gonna be working a lot this weekend, you know, but I do want to take some time to unplug and just relax as well. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my list of some stuff I wanna get done and I'll probably eat a little bit of a snack first. No, I'll probably take some photos first so I don't have like food in my teeth and then, and then I will eat and get busy on some of this stuff. He's purring so loud. He just wants all the cuddles. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. A lot of this stuff is outside. I want to get a lot of my outside plants repotted and I want to like stake my monsteras and remove my old moss poles and I might prop some. I haven't decided. I want to repot and treat my micans. I want to get my alocasia corms transferred over. I bought some fluvostratum. I'm going to try and repot some of them into there. And I have some like seedling trays I want to use for them because I feel like the containers I use for them in my cabinet, they're just squishing them and I need to water plants. The other main project I want to do is I have several moss poles that I might switch to the uh, grow thickly poles. Cause I was saying in my stories that I feel like I'm tired of watering my poles all the time and they dry out really fast. So I think having some that haven't really grown into the normal poles that I make, I think I'm just gonna transfer them. That way I won't have to water them as often. I also want to make some content for my Instagram and YouTube. And I kind of want to think about some, you know, rearranging my plant room as far as like, plants I want to take out, plants I want to get rid of. I do want to get rid of some plants and thinking about the space, about when I have to start bringing plants in. So yeah, I'll probably add to this list and I probably won't get to all this stuff on this list this weekend, but we'll see how it goes. I just kind of wanted to write some thoughts down that I could refer to. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take some photos and eat a lunch. And then I kind of want to Thinking about, since it's noon, I feel like this outside stuff's probably gonna stress me out. So I might do my micans first, and then probably later this afternoon, I might move on to 
some outdoor plants and getting some of these other poles switched over. I think I'm just gonna eat a little veggie snack pack. I just want a little snack, I think, right now. And maybe some juice and call it a day. I am getting set up here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and tackle repotting this really long micans that I have because it does have some spider mites, so I wanna take it to my shower, hose it off really good, and then I have Asimax here. This is what I use for spider mites. So that's going to get rid of them. And I think I'm just gonna put it into one of my eight inch nursery pots. And I'm just gonna use like my normal mix. I might have to make more after this repot. And I'm just gonna use my Osmocote slow release fertilizer. I love how long it's gotten though. <laughs> It is so like, I have like all the vines like draped like around the front and so the back of it is pretty empty. And not that this soil is bad, it's still the original mix and I had put slow release in here. Like I got this probably, oh I don't know, like a few weeks after I moved. And I, I just think the mix, it would just appreciate a repot and getting it into my mix and then like some fresh fertilizer going into winter, I think. I think this would be ideal for this, for this plant. Do you see the roots on this thing? Holy. It's pretty solid. Using my Osmocote. to take this to the shower. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't have that. What are you doing? You can't have that. No. You can't have that. Yeah, what are you doing? What? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. So I am going to just use that hose and spray all the leaves down, just like jet stream it and then give it some water. And then I'm going to use, like I said, I'm going to use the Azimax. I make it up in here and I'm just going to douse the leaves. I'm not going to be very specific and like go through every one. That would just be crazy, but I'm just going to do like an all over general spray. Usually I don't have to treat more than once, but this is a pretty large plant with a lot of leaves. So I might miss some, but I'm going to knock as many off as I can with the hose. Give this a drink and then spray. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we're gonna let her drain and dry off and then I will put her back in her spot and then I might trim a little bit, we'll see. So yeah, I'm actually going to, I think, make some more mix because I use most of it. And I wanna see if I can find a bigger container because I'm so tired of my mix running out all the time. I have like such a small batch I make at a time and I have a lot of repotting to do. So I'm gonna hump for one and then make more mix. And then I might do some of my moss pole plants. I kind of want to, I think, do that and work on maybe transferring some of them off of my poles onto the thickly poles and taking care of those. So I think that's what I wanna do next. These are like my metal poles I normally make. And this was one of the poles that I had outside. And so I don't wanna be watering like all this moss all the time. So I think I'm going to, these were like the cuttings I took and this is my main plant. So I'm kind of at that phase where I'm tired of having like duplicates of some plants because my, my plant room is getting pretty overwhelming. So I think what I'm gonna do is take these out of here and I'm just gonna use the same soil and use like a new pot and then put these on a grow thickly pole because I think they'll just be better for me and I don't have to fill the whole thing with moss right away. And I'm gonna save some of these poles for some of my extensions that I have to do because they're already made. So I might as well just, you know, use them for my extension. That way I don't have to make more anytime soon. Trying to decide how many cuttings I want to put in here because I don't want to overwhelm this moss pole. I feel like if I do a third one, it might be kind of crowded. All right, you guys, I made, I made three poles. So I have a silver stripe, I have a mandula and a global green. And then I had a couple extra cuttings I potted up separately. And this is my bottom half of my Adansonii pole that I chopped. It was outside, so I brought it in. So they're all three on a Grow Thickly pole, and I think they look so good. I honestly, you guys, I had all three of these 
on, it is a mess over here, on these poles that I make, my metal poles. And they were like, the cuttings were like literally here. And they had all this extra room that like I literally was not using. So I'm gonna save these for like my extensions that I'm gonna do for my poles that are reaching the top. And so I put two out here in this bin that I'm gonna probably leave out here until I'm ready to use them. I like cleared off this space. Just ignore those plants. Those are some sad plants I'm gonna take care of. Those are, those are gonna be for another video, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Hi guys. Hi. Hi cuties, are you chilling out here? Huh? I've been busy making poles. I haven't seen you guys. Yeah, Chai's been wanting cuddles, but not you guys. Hey guys, it is, it's like eight o'clock. I've been doing some like casual repotting off camera just to kind of, I don't know, not worry about filming at all. And I'm actually getting set up here to, I think, film another video. I just figured if I'm gonna do stuff off camera, I might as well film some of it. And I made, one more thickly pull and I'm gonna do one more. I'm actually gonna chop a plant cause I just don't like it. I don't know, you guys, I'm, I'm literally obsessed with these thickly poles. I just want to put so many plants on them. I just like that they're clear and I like that they're small and they're not obnoxious like my moss poles. I love the look of moss poles when you can't really see the pole and it's, kind of concealed by the plant leaves. Yes, I know. Still a cutie. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Ow, that hurts. That hurts. Your nails are sharp. <laughs> so you guys saw, I think I showed you these three. And so I, I took my varicosum down. You guys know this is like, I don't know if you guys don't know, I've had this varicosum for two years probably and it was growing great. It was like plant mail that got lost in the mail for like two weeks, it had spider mites. It was a rehab project. I had like chopped it a few times, like here's the last chop and it's never really grown back since then, it's just, I don't know, it keeps getting like root rot and just small leaves. This was like a separate cutting that I had taken prior. It was actually a wet stick that I had in my prop box and I added it in here, but it hasn't really grown. So I actually had it on a huge pole, like, you know, those over there. So I took it off and I put it on a thickly pole. I think this will help maybe keep moisture up around this. I may have gotten it let too dry and it caused the roots to rot out just because it probably went a while before I actually gave the substrate water. Cause I've been kind of lazy about watering my poles sometimes, especially the second corner. I don't water it as often. So we'll see. I use some of the mycorrhizal inoculants to help the roots grow. I sprinkled some all throughout like the soil. So I'm gonna see how that does for this one. And I've kind of struggled with Manjula. So I'm gonna see how this one does climbing on this pole. Again, I had, I had all these plants on those type of poles. So <laughs> yeah, I just like the look. It's like clean, it's clear. And I probably didn't even need to add moss like here. I probably only needed to add it like to here. And I can just add to it as I need it. And then I won't have so much moss to water all the time. And this will stay a little bit more moist in my environment. I'm just in love with these poles. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know why I haven't like used them before. All my lights went out in my plant room. I've been kind of back and forth in here a little bit today. And I've been loving this humidifier. This is a Levolt one. It's pretty new. I got it for Christmas last year. It was a Christmas present from a family member because I really wanted a better humidifier. As of like this past week or so, my humidity has been dipping down into the 40s, which I don't like when it's less than 50 for a lot of my sensitive plants, especially. So it's nice because I have it set at 60 and then it um, shuts on and off by itself. So I just set it up yesterday for the first time and so far I like it, but I really haven't messed with the settings or anything too much yet. But so far I love it. I, I'm gonna have to get it off the floor because I want it to go 
I don't know, I want it to go up higher, I think, somewhere. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know where I want to put it. But yeah, I'm just feeling like overall, like my plant room is really crowded and my plants are growing bigger. You guys know I took a couple shelves out of here, out of here. My moss poles are squished still. And I, don't, I told you I don't like these bars up top. I want to get one just to put over the two windows together. I think I want to take those blinds down. And I just don't like the brown bars like coming out so far. I think if those disappeared and those disappeared, it will be less, a little less crowded. And I don't like this setup either. It's just way too crowded. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think it's probably gonna be a work in progress. Yeah, so that's it for tonight. I'm going to film this video and maybe take care of a couple more polls and then I will see you back here tomorrow. Good morning vlog. It is Sunday. It's about noon and I'm kind of just getting started for the day. I kind of woke up. I finished getting my video ready. I'm going to have a video go up later today and I kind of want to get started and repot some of these outdoor plants I think and then do some more stuff inside and then I think later on this evening we'll water some plants in a separate video and yeah just kind of like a chill day. I was up kind of late last night, so I feel a little tired. I had an energy drink this morning, but I kind of want something else because I'm still feeling kind of sleepy, so we'll see. I kind of want to do my alocasia corms and transfer those real quick before I get started because I have to make more mix too, and you know, that's a whole nother thing out in my garage, so. So yeah, I'm gonna go get those alocasia corms and we'll transfer some to the fluval stratum, get them potted up in their little separate containers, and then we'll move outside. So this is the fluval stratum. This is what I'm gonna be transferring my alocasia corms to. Well, some of them, not all of them. And I kept the bag here. I got this bag off Amazon. This is the smaller size. They do have a bigger one. Um, it's just like a different substrate. Now I believe this here will eventually like break down. So it's not meant to keep plants in long term, but I'm gonna use this medium to propagate the corms in because I feel like the roots and stuff, it might be a little easier than using moss, I feel like. I don't know. I love moss for corms. I have several here that are already sprouting, but I think I, I just wanna try it out. I've seen it you know, going around and I was kind of curious about it. So this substrate is kind of used for aquatic plants and aquariums usually. It says to rinse to remove fine dust particles. Do not stir it, do not mix with anything else, and then handle with care when changing the water. I just poured it out of the bag into this here. So I have like a cup I think I'm gonna pour some into and then like rinse it, it has some holes. I'll just rinse it over my sink so that it's like fresh. And then I'm gonna scoop it out into these little seedling containers. I got this as a five pack on Amazon. I think I'd only need, I probably won't even need two of them, probably just one. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do one moss and one fluval stratum. So these are kind of nice. They're like a plastic tray. They have individual holes for your seedlings like that. And then they have a lid, which is like traps in humidity. And then I think this little thing, you can maybe turn to like aerate it, like leave the little holes open. And it's nice too, because this is higher and my little alocasia corms, like this one, for example, I think this is a fry deck. It's getting squished. You see how the top of it is bent already. And so this is going to provide more room for these guys to grow so they don't squish. So I was looking for something kind of cute and petite and something that gave room. And I just saw these when I was browsing on Amazon. I was actually browsing for like probably like an hour. I was trying to find something 
that I liked. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So these hold 12 and then it came in a five pack. I think it was 20 something dollars. Any that are like pretty rooted in the moss, like this one here, for example, I'm gonna leave him in the moss and I'm just gonna pluck him out and plop him into one little hole. And this has holes on the bottom too. It doesn't fit like snug against the bottom of this tray. There's like a little room, I guess, for like airflow down there. Or maybe when you're watering, you can like, it'll drain out and then you can dump it maybe. And yeah, these ones have sprouted a leaf already. This is the black velvet. I didn't feel like it was quite ready to be potted up yet. So this one I'm going to, I think it just plop him down in here so he can root and get a little bit strong. I think this is a tiny, yeah, this is a tiny baby fried egg. Look how tiny it is. This one I don't feel comfortable potting into soil yet. And these are all, I didn't label any of these, which I'm kind of annoyed by. I think these are all corms that I took off of my dragon scale alocasia, and a lot of these are sprouting already. It's been a few weeks for these guys, and I have kind of roots in the moss there. So I believe these I'm just going to leave in moss and then just transfer them. So I pretty much have a lot that I'm going to leave in moss. And then I have some newer ones, which I honestly... I think I have some newer ones from my fry deck because I repotted it recently, which I think are in here. And then these ones, I'm not sure. I had some corms in a separate container that I had in my greenhouse and I it wasn't in one of these containers because they were all full and it dried out. So the corms just, I had to toss them all, which was kind of sad. And I think it was from my Capria, which I'm so angry about. And so these ones, I'm not sure which alocasia I got these from. Cause I don't remember potting another alocasia. So it's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> these little things did come with a pack of a few labels, which is nice. So you can like stick a label in here. And I think these labels will fit with the lid, you know, on. So you can actually know what you're potting up, which is nice. I don't really wanna disturb the root system too much. And I don't know what I'll end up using these propagation vessels for, you know, in the long run. Yeah, that's interesting. Look how little and petite that is. <laughs> Let's transfer these guys that have a leaf already. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh, he's still a little squished in there. Maybe it'll be okay. This little leaf is so cute, oh my goodness. That is so cute, you guys. Look at that little seed pods, isn't that cute? <laughs> These two I wanted to do in the fluval stratum and yeah, these are all, I was hoping to get rid of more of the moss, but anything that seems like pretty rooted, I'm gonna leave in moss. I thought I had peeled all these already. Maybe I didn't peel this, this one that good. I like peeling my corns because I feel like they root and grow faster when you peel the outer layer off. When I filmed my corn video, I already have a video on like corn propagation. I can link it up here if you're interested. Someone mentioned about the oxalate crystals with alocasia about if I get like any kind of sensitivity like touching them. And like sometimes I guess some people can touch even alocasia leaves and they develop like a sensitivity to them I guess or they can itch I guess. I don't know. I've never noticed anything doing that. So that one doesn't have any roots, so I might pot that one in the fluval. So these are what I have in moss. I have six of them that are gonna stay in moss. And so I put them down. I'm not gonna label these because I, I know what they are. It doesn't fit very tight though. Maybe it's not supposed to. It doesn't like snap or anything. So yeah, that one's done. I will put this one in my greenhouse to root.
I have no clue what I'm doing with this fluval stratum, you guys. I just said, it just said to rinse it. So if you guys have used it before and know how to properly use it, or if you have any advice for me, feel free to let me know because I'm just, never used it before. I don't know, it seemed like a lot of dark stuff was coming off. So I just have a spoon and I'm just gonna fill it in these containers, I think is how I'm gonna do it. I'm trying to film it for a reel too. Okay, let's do one of these corms. Yeah, so <laughs> it is interesting. So I'm probably gonna end up using all these containers for all the corms. So that's what it looks like in there. I think I kind of covered it most of the way. So yeah, we'll keep on at it. Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, let me let me rinse my hands and I'll show you. <laughs> Look at how cute that is, you guys. Aw. I put them in my greenhouse down here. So I have the ones in the fluval here and then the ones that are still in moss there. And I'm gonna see how they do. I'm gonna try and keep this fluval moist. I don't want it to dry out. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll like it. I don't want that. Time to make more mix. one of my monsteras that I have outside. You guys may have seen this on my story on my Instagram several times. It's grown quite a bit, three sets of three leaves. So there's three vines in here and all the new leaves have come in pretty big since being outside. So like a lot of these ones like that one, this one over here is a new leaf since being outside this summer, this one compared to some of the older, smaller ones. So being outside has really like, really encouraged this Monstera to grow. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think repot him. I don't think he really needs to be repotted because I had him in a, oh gosh, I think I recently upsized him like five months ago before I moved, but I do wanna get this moss pole out of here. So you guys see, this is like my old, normal moss pool that I used to make and I wanna switch it out with this stake. So I stained it and I think I think I wanna reposition it and get it kind of positioned a bit better. And I think I'm gonna use one of these grafting, or not grafting, one of these. It's like a breathable bag that I'm gonna pot into. I'm gonna try it instead of using the nursery pot, I think, and just see how it goes. 
We'll see, we'll see what the root system looks like. I might keep it in the grower's pot. Things long aerials on this thing. <laughs> Look at this long aerial root. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do you see the roots on this thing? Look at that. <laughs> it's not overly root bound. I'm going to try and get this plastic pole out of here though. Okay, guys. I'm making a huge mess. So I had to completely like dismantle the roots to get this plastic out of all the root system. I hope I doesn't, I don't like stress it out too much, but yeah, I'm glad I got all the plastic out. So I'm going to repot him into this grow bag. I really like mangled the roots around, but hopefully it doesn't care too much. I'm making a couple reels at the same time. I don't know if I said that. So I keep like stopping to make some real content. So I don't have a scooper, so I'm just gonna use my hands. <laughs> okay. So to make sure most of the aerials are out. And down it goes. You guys can't even see me over this monster. I need to get my fertilizer. <laughs> All right, you guys, here she goes. Doesn't she look good? I call it a he and a she sometimes. I don't know which one it is. 
But the steak is looking so good. So that's from my hardware store and I just stained it. And I ended up, there's three vines in here, so I ended up like staking or attaching with Velcro to the pole. And I wrapped all the aerials around the base and the leaves will eventually like straighten back up towards the light. And then as it climbs, I'll just attach it to the um, stake. I couldn't get that plastic piece out of the soil without like damaging it. So I don't think it would shock too much, honestly. I think monsters are pretty hardy. And then I use that mesh grow bag. See, so yeah, I'll be excited to bring her in here and see how she does over winter. I'm probably gonna end up like putting her like over this way and I'm gonna be moving the shelving unit. And then I think all my outdoor plants are gonna be like in this area and I'm gonna add some like grow lights up top, I think. So that's the plan. And I'll probably move those to my north light bedroom. So here's the list. I honestly could have done more, but I'm kind of tired. So yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits and I will probably work on the rest of these plants throughout the rest of the week. I think if I do it plant by plant, it won't be so daunting and like so much to do at once. Cause I do have like two more monsteras to do and yeah, a bunch of other repotting outside. So I think that'll be the plan to get everything done this week out there and then you know, over the course of the next few weeks, work on bringing the plants in. So yeah, that is it for this weekend vlog. I will do some watering in a different video with you guys, but I really hope you enjoyed and it kind of took you through some of my weekend with me on doing some of my plant chores. I'll definitely do more of these videos. It's just a little different filming this style because I have to be mindful to like take my camera with me everywhere. It's different like filming a sit down video where I have you like sitting and I just talk. But for a vlog, I have to be mindful of like different light, my, setting my camera tripod at different levels. And yeah, it's just different. It's a different style of filming. I really do like these videos and I like watching these videos. So I really hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I can't wait to do another one. So thank you guys so much for spending the weekend with me and your time watching. I appreciate you guys so much. You mean so much to me. And yeah, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye. <laughs>